So this week we've seen two beta releases for the pro version of Brizzy and in this video we're going to take a look at the second one. I've already covered the previous update, the 0.05 update brings it with the new pop-up option. So let's just jump over to WordPress, fire up Brizzy and take a look at how we can use that right now. Hi and welcome to another episode of WP Touch. My name is Paul C and this is the channel where we create beautiful WordPress websites. If this is your first time on the channel, please consider subscribing and clicking that bell icon to become part of the notification squad to be notified every time new content is added. Okay, so Brizzy Pro, the second release they've released in the last seven days is 0.05 and brings with it the new pop-up builder. Now it's very, very early in its development cycle, so it's really quite limited. There's only two different kind of designs we can use. We can customize these if we want to but obviously when the full pro version comes out we'll have a lot more options to choose from but as with most things Brizzy this is very easy to implement and it's a great way of starting to work so let's just jump over to WordPress fire up Brizzy and take a look at how we can start adding these in so creating a pop-up in Brizzy Pro couldn't be easier. In this video, we're going to take a look at three different versions. We're going to take a look at applying to an image, to a button, and to an ordinary text link. So I've created a very simple layout that allows me to do all three of those. So let's start off with the button first of all. What we need to do is going to click on the button, and we're going to click on the little chain link icon like we'd normally apply any kind of link. You can see we now have a new option that says pop-up. All we need to do is click on pop-up, and then we get the normal sort of upload your image kind of interface option. What we're going to do is going to click on pop-up, and that's going to open up the predefined templates we can use as the basis for our pop-ups. So now we can go through and just choose the design we want to use as the starting point for our pop-up. Now at this point in time, there are only two options, a light and a dark version, but the pro version, when it releases, when it ships, is going to have a lot more options to choose from. But that's pretty much it. All we need to do now is click on that, and that'll add the pop-up in there. So we just save this page and test it out. All we need to do is just click on the little preview icon. We'll jump over to our test page and we'll see then, if we click on the button, we now get our pop-up. So pretty easy. So let's just close this down. Come back into our Brizzy editor page. Let's click on the image and this time we're going to take it and we're going to create a pop-up from the image. So the process is pretty much exactly the same. Click on the chain link, click on the pop-up tab, click pop-up, add in the different design you want to use and you are good to go. Finally, if we take a look at some text, all we need to do is simply highlight the text we want, click on the chain link icon again, click on pop-up, click and choose our pop-up. So it's very, very easy to work with. So now that we've seen how easy it is to add in different pop-ups, let's take a look at how we can customize the pop-up itself. It's very easy, very intuitive, and when they bring up more designs, we're gonna have a lot more scope to get great looking pop-ups, along with things like A-B testing and so on. So let's take a look at how we can start editing the different templates we already have as part of this Brita version of Brizzy Pro. So let's go back and use our button example. We're gonna click on that, we're gonna click on the chain icon and make sure we've got the pop-up section open. Now what we need to do to edit this is click on the pop-up itself. So once we click on there, that'll open the pop-up and allow us to directly edit that inside Brizzy Pro itself. So we're not limited to just sticking with this one design. We can use this as the basis and then we can start adding additional content in. It is still a little limited at this point in time, but this is a beta release version. So if we want to change the background color, we can do things along those lines. We could easily come in, choose a different background color. You can see immediately applies it. If you want to add another column in there, you can click add a new column in, add in anything you want in there. So let's just say we want to put an image in there. We could click, drag that in there, drop our image in, click and edit, do whatever we want on this. We can add our image in and we'll say we'll use this one, select that and that drops our image in. So it's very, very easy to work with. And it just basically works in the way you'd expect it with Brizzy and Brizzy Pro. Flawlessly easy to work with. So as always with all these things, Brizzy Pro, they're very, very well implemented into the design structure. It makes creating pop-ups very, very easy. The designs, yes, they're limited at the moment, but that's going to change when the Pro version releases. And obviously you can edit this as well. It'll be great to see how they implement some of these additional options, especially pulling in things like A-B testing and using dynamic content. I'm really excited to see how all of that's going to work. Well, that's just my opinion. What do you think of this new pop-up build? for Brizzy Pro. Do you think it's a good addition? Do you like the way it's implemented in the design structure? What are your thoughts? Pop this in the comment section below and tell me what you think. Well, as always, my name's been Paul C. This has been WP Tats and until next time, take care.